guys, so I've got my pattern ready. I'm using a Genesis 3 female from Daz. So if you're using your own custom character, you guys might need to adjust some of these points, but I've made it transparent so you can see exactly where I've placed my points in my scene. Then you guys wanna go over to fabric, add a new fabric, I've named mine dress. Go ahead to preset and select D cotton. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and decrease my opacity. Now you don't need to do that. I'm just doing this so you guys can actually see me tracing over this pattern and I'm gonna select the polygon tool. So I'm gonna start over here. And if I hold down shift, it constrains it to these different lines so that I draw the line at a specific angle. So I'm gonna hold down shift draw another line till there and yet the bottom angle this and I'm basically just connecting the dots okay so that's done I'm gonna go to my edit curvature over here select edit curvature and let me curve this down this is for the armpit region and then I'm gonna go to my edit pattern select this middle line right click and go to unfold I'm gonna select this top dot, delete it, go back to edit curvature and just curve this down for the neck region. And then yeah, the bottom, what we're actually gonna be doing is I'm gonna select the smooth curve tool. I'm gonna to select this bottom dot and basically drag it all the way up until these two, uh, those two vertices or these two dots meet with these end points. And that's perfect. Now I can go back to edit curvature, go to the center here and just drag this down and we are good to go. So that's gonna be the front. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually select this pattern now and delete it. Then I'm going to select the pattern. We actually, sorry, not the pattern, that image. I delete the image and now I'm gonna select my pattern, right click and go to symmetric pattern with sewing. This is gonna be the back of the dress. Now it's still in our workspace here. So I'll right click, go to flip horizontally. And the reason I'm doing that is basically to invert those normals. So the normals here on the inside. And there we go. Now we can go to segment sewing and I'm going to be sewing this into this, this one to this, this one to this. Oh, actually, no. Um, that's not how we're going to sew that because you can see we are basically uh, limited to these different segments on the dress, right? With all these different points. What we want to use here is the free sewing. So with free sewing, it allow us to actually create a segment that goes all the way from the top to the bottom. And you'll see when I move over to the other side over here, I'll start from the top as well and go to the bottom. I'm able to sew this entire region and not just be constrained to one specific area. So I'm gonna do the same for this side. Okay, and there we go. So if I click on simulate, oops, wanna make sure that's up a little bit more. So just move that up, click on simulate. And there we go. So if I go back to my fabric over here, go to my dress and increase my opacity, I'll be able to see it clearer. Now, if you guys also seen this with your character where the character is actually poking through, uh, there's basically two reasons why this is happening. The first reason, uh, which is usually the main reason is because of the particle distance. Now by decreasing this, we're gonna get a much more higher quality uh, garment. So if you have a beefy PC, you can go all the way down to three. I'm gonna put mine on 15 just to get rid of some of that, click on simulate. You'll see that it fixes that. And if there's still some of the character poking through, I might have to put that on 10, but you guys can also go to your scene over here. And now I'm gonna scroll up to my Genesis 3 female and the skin offset, it's basically offsetting the garment from the character. I'm gonna put this on something like 0 0.6. Maybe 0 0.9. And it's basically just offsetting from the character. So I might go all the way down to, let me put this on 12. Just so I get rid of this character poking through here. Okay, so either it's that skin offset or it's the actual particle distance. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, simulate that, and there we go. So my character is no longer poking through. Okay, so something quick I want to mention. The reason why this pattern is angled out like this is to actually create these frills. So if I had to go to edit pattern, select this point and actually move it closer to the body. And by the way, because we selected symmetric uh, pattern with sewing, it's doing it for both sides. But if we move this pattern closer to the body, we'll actually get a much more tighter fitting dress on here. So you can change your overall style and shape of this dress just by moving that point. Okay. So I'm gonna go back here, bump up my opacity. I'm actually gonna load in one of my own fabric uh, materials from my 56 fabric materials pack. I'm using fabric six 
and these really do make a difference especially in the final renders it's nice to have some uh, surface texture on there as well so I'm just going to bump up the color here so I can see this a little bit better okay and at this point I'm actually going to break the symmetry on this dress right because like I said these are linked to each other whatever I do on this side is going to happen to that side so to do that I'm going to select both of these right click and go to remove linked editing and the reason I'm doing that now at this point I would feel like I'm done with the overall basic shape of the dress and I want to edit it independently so I want the back to be moved up a bit and I don't want it to affect the front and we'll be able to do that so I'll go to edit curvature and just move this up so it's not so so it's not hanging so low on the back of the dress and you'll see that moves it up I'm gonna click on simulate and there we go okay and again little issues like that with the character sticking through sometimes we will just have to pull it off the character to get rid of that but there we go I just alter the back because uh, like I said I don't want it to be as low as the front okay so in the thumbnail you saw that there's also a strap on here so we're going to be creating that next Okay, so to create that simple strap or belt that we saw in the thumbnail, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the rectangle tool. And I'm basically just going to draw out a rectangle like this. All right, and I'm going to move this down in my workspace. And place it over here by the hips, a navel region. Then I'm going to go to the add point. And on this line, I'm going to right click, go to uniform split. And it's on two, so it's going to put a point right in the middle over there. And then I'm going to go to I'm going to go to my internal polygon line and just draw a line that goes all the way down. Press enter. And now I'm going to go to the fold arrangement, select this line, and just rotate in this direction over here. And you can see it's starting to bend this because we're going to be using a single piece of fabric as the belt. And now I can go ahead to my select and move and just move this. So I'm drawing this belt quite long to start off with and then we'll make it shorter once it's actually on the body. Okay, so from here I can go to my segment sewing. I'm going to sew this into this. And I can move this a little bit further back. And now I'm going to click on simulate. there we go and it should wrap it around the body now the reason why this is happening is because both the belt and the dress are on the same layer so we want to go over here and put this on layer one when it's on layer one that means it's basically telling the program that the belt is a layer above the dress so that will help with this weird intersection you can see immediately it sorted that out so I can go ahead alter this And there we go all right so now it's on the body so what I'm gonna actually go ahead and do now is actually I'm going to uh, let's see I'm gonna copy this because yeah, the belt can also use the cotton preset I'll select this and I'll select that duplicate and I'm just going to increase the color a little bit and now since it's on the body I want this to be tighter so that it creates some bunching over here so I'm going to I double click this middle point and this is basically going to scale it uniformly like that and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so just let that synchronize and click on simulate there we go now it's making it a little bit tighter on the body now we see just push and pull here until you get it in a particular shape that you are happy with now by doing that you can see over here it's actually it made this belt or strap a lot tighter on the body so it looks obviously a lot more realistic by creating almost like you can see over there some bunching and it's showing the overall shape of the hips here a lot better as well okay so it really is that simple to do uh, with the belt as well I'm gonna put mine on bring mine all the way down to 15 because on 20 it really is low poly I'll just bring that down so it looks a little bit better uh, but yeah that's how I'm creating that strap 
Now again, we just have to push and pull until we get a particular shape that we are happy with. You can see that sort of that out. And uh, you guys can go ahead and also make that a little bit tighter, but just don't make the pattern too small because sometimes it might cause, cause some simulation issues and it might intersect with the dress a bit too much. Uh, now obviously over here I can go ahead, can make this a little bit taller as well if I want. It's completely up to you guys what you want your belt to look like or a strap and that's how I did that. Okay, so for the last part, we're just doing some final small details on here. So I'm going to go to my edit pattern, select this bottom line. Now I have to hold on shift so I can select both sides because remember we remove symmetry. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say offset is internal line. I'm going to put mine on 10. Right, it's basically creating that little detail here at the bottom. Right, so just let that synchronize. Now I'm going to go ahead, while it's still selected, right click and go to cut and sew. So it's basically cutting off this piece of fabric and sewing it back on. And then from here I'll be able to actually select these two pieces and change my fabric to this dress too. And it's that lighter grey. So there's some little detail there on the bottom as well. Okay. And I'm just going to click on synchronize or simulate. And you can do the exact same thing for the belt as well. So you could select Actually, we don't need this red line anymore because we've already uh, basically we used that just to bend this so we could simulate it. But yeah, I can even delete that dot. So that the same way I made that detail there, I could select both of these lines, right click and go to offset as internal line. Okay. All right, so I've gone ahead, put in a different pose. If you guys want to find out how to do this, there's a tutorial that shows you how to morph characters. Uh, Daz characters into different poses that you can use in Marvelous Designer but we've gone ahead created this dress from start to finish you can go ahead select the entire dress put that all the way down to five so that you get the best quality and uh, it's just going to show a lot more detail on the dress as well you can see over here it's not showing that many folds because this is this is actually quite tight on the body but over here you can see we're getting some nice uh, big folds and even micro folds on the dress as well Alright guys, so you have now been equipped with the knowledge to start creating your own dresses. Feel free to show me what you guys are creating. You can find me on Instagram at, uh, at MrDavids2 or just find me on Facebook or even message me here directly on YouTube. Alright guys, so thank you so much for the support. Stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.